Hello, I'm Tom Nodziak. Today, I'm here with top coach Ellie Barrity, and today he's going to help me improve my counter top spins. So, counter top spin. Why do I want to improve this? Okay, well, I suppose at the moment, when I'm playing competitive matches and the other player is attacking me, I think by default, I'm most likely to go into blocking mode, backhand block, forehand block. Now, there's nothing wrong with blocking and I actually really enjoy blocking, but I want to be able to do a bit more than that. I'd like to be able to not only block, but also counter attack as well. Put a bit more on the ball, put my opponent under a bit more pressure. So Ellie's going to take a look, see what I do at the moment, and see if there's anything obvious which I'm doing wrong, which I can do to improve. We noticed that Tom does what a lot of people do, they flick or they come in and then when it becomes into a rally, they don't quite recover quick enough, so they kind of ball watch. They do one good shot and they're like, oh, they didn't expect it back. You want to always be expecting the ball back, so the way to do that is once you flicked, you program your mind to do short movements and get into a good recovery position in a neutral position, which should be around here, like a gun, a cowboy, you're here, there, and then you can play either a backhand or a forehand. The stroke should be short and whippy, and you'll notice with Tom how when he first started, he was quite big strokes and poor recovery, ball watching, and as we stepped it up and focused on staying low, short movements, whipping movement, a uh, little snap before point of contact, and also important, we tried to make sure that he stayed close to the table rather than drifting back and the strokes become bigger and slower. So he was reacting in a very fast motion and enabled him to counter topspin and be a lot more aggressive but in a positive manner. Okay, so a little bit better, I think, but you know, I actually found that really hard to do. I'm really out of my comfort zone playing that style of table tennis. So that's something I'm gonna to have to work on quite a lot for it to feel natural to be part of the game. And I, I think out of everything Ellie said, the, the two things which I really need to think about is the recovery after each shot, not just playing one shot and ball watching, I got to play, recover, expect that ball to come back every time. So I've got to cut out the ball watching. And also, sort of 
trying to stay a bit closer to the table and using shorter, quicker strokes to play that style of game. Okay, and that's really what I want to do. I do like playing a little bit closer to the table and I find it's more effective than going all the way back here. My footwork's not good enough to play all the way back there, so playing a bit closer I find easier to do. But I need to shorten the strokes and recover a bit quicker. So there's some really good things for me to work on there. Okay, thank you very much for watching that video. Please do comment, let me know your thoughts. Always read the comments and try to respond, so let me know what you thought, what else I need to improve on. Um, and thanks again for Ellie for um, spending some time with me and giving me all of his advice. Um, Ellie's got a great YouTube channel as well, so um, please subscribe to that as well as subscribing to my channel. I'll put links um, to our channels in the, in the video description. Okay then, I will um, see you soon guys. Cheerio, bye bye.